Exactly one year ago, organizers got the green light to start gathering signatures for a Gavin Newsom recall. Now, as the election date looms, a question, where's the money for the election coming from? This is unbudgeted. We haven't put any money into our budget for next year to cover the cost of this. Bill O'Neill, the El Dorado County Registrar of Voters, is concerned about the cost, especially at a time when his county is already working to rebound from lost revenue during the pandemic. O'Neill showed us what he sent to the State Department of Finance for an estimated cost for the recall election. At minimum, El Dorado County would need more than $441,000. Compare that to a larger county like Sacramento. Officials there estimate $4.4 million, but just for services and supplies, not including staff. We took the concerns to Senator Ana Caviero, who chairs the subcommittee, overseeing the part of the budget dealing with the recall. The state has never not st stood up and, and helped counties to make sure that we pay for, for elections. It's one of the state's responsibilities, um, and quite frankly, we take it very seriously. So I, I wouldn't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. But as of right now, the money for the recall election, which is estimated to be $400 million statewide, isn't in the budget. I asked Senator Jim Nielsen, the vice chair of the budget committee, if it's possible that the money won't make it in the budget. There is. Oh, of course there is, because there's billions of unfunded mandates pending right now. So of course it could, but it would certainly make the governor look bad and the legislature look bad if they would not fund our county elections. In El Dorado County, if the money doesn't come from the state, it'll come from the general fund. So every dollar that is taken away from the county is a dollar that's taken away from our voters and from our constituents in the county. Lawmakers have one week to pass a balanced budget, but both senators say the recall election funding could be added later. I'm Brandi Cummings, KCRA 3 News. And county election officials have until June 22nd to report the number of signatures that were withdrawn. Then comes the certification process. The election is expected to happen in late summer or more likely in the fall.